10 to 11 and we are back on the charts let's take a look at our hourly first comfortably above zero it has been for six histogram bars now on the macd and this latest one looks like it's going to be one of the strongest hopefully that cements us in for looking at buy trades all day this is what we said we wanted we didn't want yesterday's price action where the macd bounces up and down zigzags can't make its mind up that puts us off on some of the trades and ends up meaning that some of our trades get caught out in the range here looking much more likely that we've got a momentum run to the buy side we'd need some big red candles for that to change doesn't look like that's happened so far quite the opposite in fact let's take a look at the five minute chart would have had a trade here about half past eight in the morning and it does look like you would have got in before this run up here and that's a narrow atr at that point as well we'd run a one pip minimum for it so we'd be looking at three pips 30 points for take profit and i think we would get that just about and if not we would get it up here so definitely take profit for that trade on sub trade a sub trade b would also get profit but you might get knocked out here on the trading stop loss pull back from price and it's only two times atr so i think you'd be a goner there nevertheless though a profitable trade and then another buy trade what's the figure on this one looks like you would have had oh that's not the best you would have had a negative figure for this candle right here very marginally negative 0.000009 but that does mean that you would have had to wait for the end of this candle for confirmation of your buy trade so you're in a buy trade up there with an atr of around about three pips stop loss will be around about here take profit way up in the clouds definitely wouldn't have been taken by this high so at the moment we'd just be waiting for the resolution of this trade or we'll see how it goes as we said because we are on the lookout for buy trades certainly at the moment and probably for a while it does mean you already know that we're going to have to wait for the cross and the recross the macd line that could take a while so we've got plenty of time to check out the economic calendar and see what events are on not a huge amount today and nothing in the asia session Looks like we had the Reserve Bank of Australia Assistant Governor Ellis make a speech at 6am. And that's it before we're into Europe. Swiss trade balance coming in at an actual of 5.65 billion Swiss francs with a forecast of 5.35 billion Swiss francs. Good beat for them and about a 10% improvement on the previous. 10.30 about 25 minutes ago there was a speech from Germany. Bundesbank Executive Board Member Bolz. At the same time the Swiss unemployment rate came through. 7.6% actual against a 7.9% forecast and an 8.2% previous. Still pretty high at 7.6, but getting better. And then not much else coming from Europe. About 45 minutes time, we got the 10-year bond auction in Spain. 12 o'clock, a speech from board member Pagnetta on the ECB executive board. And 2 o'clock, Fernandez Bolo's speech from the ECB supervisory board. Those aren't going to have an impact. 3 o'clock, South African Reserve Bank interest rate decision. We're not on the rand, but if you are, that's one to watch out for currently at 3.5 percent we did say they had pretty reasonable cpi inflation numbers 0.2 percent month on month so they might not feel the pressure to change interest rates i don't know what they're thinking but we will check out the number then 3 30 p.m canadian dollar foreign securities purchases forecast at positive 26 billion dollars and we also get some u.s numbers the philadelphia fed their manufacturing index and employment index only for the pennsylvania new jersey delaware region but still relevant to those areas so we'll want to see what's happening and we've also got initial jobless claims as well they come in weekly on a thursday forecast at 268,000 on a previous of 267,000. and then not going to be much after that 4 30 a couple more speeches neither of those is going to move the charts i would say and then a big old gap until 11 p.m. right at the end of the day. South Korean producers price index month on month forecast to be deflationary at negative 0.1. Hope they get that. And that's it. So not expecting to get smacked out of any trades by anything from the macro side of things on the economic calendar. Which means we can focus on our technical strategy. But having said that, if we get back onto the charts, this looks like it would have been your stop loss. Again, if you were in that buy trade, I would imagine that this would have knocked you out. Look at that. Nine pips. 3.4 on the ATR, so you might be looking at 10.2 if you're generous. You've got to take off the spread. Yeah, it's close. Maybe you're still in. But what it does mean with such a big candle like that, you can see immediately we've seen the MACD line cross over here. Thought we'd have to wait, but we are now on the watch. Price could revert just as quick as it came down, and suddenly we're in a buy trade. Let's watch and see. Just had a big sell off on the last candle. If your stop loss wasn't knocked out here, it certainly was by now. That does mean that this would have been a losing trade and you would have lost more on this one than you gained on the first trade this morning and we had thought that this candle right here was going to spell upward momentum for the day now it looks just the opposite and once we get into the mid-afternoon maybe there'll be sell trades for us got to prepare ourselves for the fact that we could get a buy trade here at half past 12. you can see the macd line because of this strong green candle coming through has pushed ever so slightly above 
ATR currently at 2.9 pips, three times that value, 8.7. At the last second, though, it pulls up, price comes back, and we don't get a close. We see it poking through again, but if the candles come red, we'll miss the signal entirely. Ray thought it was coming there, but that snap back in price in the last few seconds keeps us out, but we don't mind. Hopefully, we get a better entry position when we do get in. As it comes up to 10 to 1, it does look so we finally are going to get that buy signal. The MACD line has been hugging that zero line. Last period was negative 0 0.00003. We're going with 2.4 pips on the ATR for 7.2 pips the stop loss. You can see how it's calculated on the screen. And let's get into our two buy sub trades. Quite the impressive spread as always. Let's stick the ask price line on so you can see that in full. Yeah, woof. That's why we have three times ATR to the stop loss and two to the take profit. Let's set those levels. And that are those levels set. You can see the stop loss. Yeah, we are hurtling towards it. It's right down at the bottom of the support level. Don't want to see this reverse. We really had to wait for this signal. And as soon as we're in, here comes the drop. Take profit level already looking like a long way away. And immediately after the first candle, the MACD line has reclosed across zero. It's making the return now price, but look at how close that got to our stop loss immediately. Price drops, and we are left fighting an even bigger uphill battle. Price making big moves now. What a return for us it's been. We can see the spikes here. It's been particularly volatile, and we do feel very lucky still to have missed out on the stop loss down here. As we see this candle jumping up, could see it jump one more time and possibly take profit. The ask price line is above there. Just need a few more pipettes for the bid price line to get there too. Price now backing off from there though. We said we felt fairly fortuitous to see this stop loss down here, avoid getting triggered. But now look at how close it came on the take profit side of things. Equally as close. And if it does go all the way back from there, we're going to feel equally as unlucky with this as we felt lucky the first time around with the stop loss. And we do take profit. What a roller coaster of a trade. And the trading stop loss, so that gets into profit as well. Really nice stuff. We can see $20.97 was the close. And if we can get more of a push, if this euro can get higher and higher, if the trading stop loss can get maybe to about here, which is quite an ask, I will say. But if it can, then we should be very nearly, if not back into profitability. Trading stop loss making moves. It's almost at that level. Price comes for our stop loss zone. It does trigger it. The trade and stop loss gone. 20 to 2. We are out. It was a nice trade though. We needed $19.91 to get back into total profitability for the strategy. And we didn't quite get there. $16.70. But still a very nice trade. We actually see price cracking on now. But still, regardless of where it goes next, a positive trade for us. $37.67, we will take that. And that means with certainty that if we can get into one more trade and make it a winning trade, we will absolutely be back into profitability then. We need some more sharp movements to get back in there though. Price has been volatile and you can see the volume spike that came on the last candle. And since we got in here, the ATR has gone nothing but up. Currently around about four pips. As I say, it might take a while because the return is needed. We need it to come under on the MACD level, beneath zero over here, and then recross for a buy trade. Quarter past two in the MACD line has just closed beneath zero. Negative 0 0.00050. Pretty swift come down. Now all we need is a green candle or two to come from where we are, and we will get a buy trade. Could be back in getting those winning trades. Hopefully this is a retracement on a bigger move upwards. The drop has just intensified. Look at how price has fallen off there. Big red coming into the market. Two minutes before the open of the New York Forex session. That puts us further away from a trade. But these kind of candles, they can retrace just as quick as they come. If you weren't filtering, by the way, and you'd got into a sell trade at this MACD line crossover, that'd be looking very nice for you now. But we have got to be reasonable and have some sort of filter, even if it is just a different part of the same indicator on a different time frame. A really quick snap back in price over the last few periods, so should see the MACD line cross over zero now. It does. Assuming we get the close there, we'll be at the end of this period. Hopefully it doesn't drag too far up. I don't want to get in right at the peak of momentum. I think even a red candle would still see this cross, so wouldn't mind seeing a bit of a pullback to be able to enter on. 15 seconds into our entry here, we are going to get the close. A little bit of a pullback as we see it now. We're going for an ATR of 3.1 pips. That's 9.3 to the stop loss. And we are poised, ready to take our trades. Just like that, we're in. I'm glad we did get a little bit of a pullback. Didn't want to see it push on, but it looks like that could be more of a pullback. We'll set that trading stop loss and take profit in. Neither of them outside support or resistance levels, but I could see us getting caught out here. 
This was a strong run up and we are about to get knocked out by our stop loss. Price is ever so close. A couple more pipettes on a push down and we are gone. Price has amazingly retraced back from there. Does seem to be pulling back a bit. Could go either way still. Do feel pretty twitchy being this close to the stop loss. But that was incredibly close again. What are we seeing today? Amazingly missing our stop loss. Thought it was a goner. Four o'clock and finally we're getting away from the pits. Hard to believe we didn't get the stop losses triggered there. But now almost back to our entry price. This is what we want and more green candles. Don't let this be a resistance that will now push through it. Get to that take profit. And a few of those economic candle numbers that have been coming through. South African Reserve Bank, they did raise those interest rates. 3.75% now up on the 3.5 previous. And then the 3.30 numbers, Canada's foreign security purchases came in at 20 billion actual against 22 billion previous. Bit down for them. And then in the United States, Philadelphia Fed numbers, manufacturing index 39 against a forecast of 27.8 and up on the previous of 23.8. Pretty good on that one. On the employment index though, 27.2, which is down on the forecast of 29.4 and down on the previous of 30.7. So a bit of a miss there. Initial jobless claims coming in exactly as forecast, 268,000, which is down a very small amount from the previous of 269,000. So pretty middle of the road numbers there across the board. Nothing that anyone's going to lose himself over. So that is our economic numbers for the day. Let's stick it out with the trade. See if we can push some more green. Price coming for our stop loss again. Can we bat it away? It's only a few pipettes off again. Another retracement would be really appreciated here. Last five candles. It's been coming red. It's been creeping down. And now it looks ready to push. This time it gets us though. That is unfortunate. We were in right at the top. This momentum run, that got us in. And we never really got going from that. The entire trade was just spent ranging in between our entry price and the stop loss. And usually when you end up in that situation, it will get you. I mean, we can see again from the hourly chart, the kind of day we've had. It's been very rangy. We were lucky to be able to take advantage of this uptrend here. Because price did come back down and then it came to a red candle, a green candle. And these each hourly charts, they're just reversing the gains and the losses. That's reflected in the MACD as well. And even on a more local level, when we look at the MACD line recently on the five minute chart, it's been crossing back and forth. It's four crossovers we've had in the last hour. So we are going to call our session there for the day. I really don't think we're going to get a sustained trend out of it. You might see this one go downwards now and make a bit of a something. But the idea of it reversing and getting a good buy run on the go just doesn't seem like the day for it. So after our one winning trade and one losing trade, we lost more than we won. And so we finished $18.83 down for the day. That keeps us about 60 bucks from profitability. And we've only got one more session that we're going to trade this. So when we come back tomorrow, I would say we need two more winning trades than the amount of losing trades that we have. Seems like a difficult task, but we'll see how we get on then. For now, let's just check out our two trades today in the journal. Those two trades from today put us at six trades overall for the strategy. Across three days, you can do the math. That's averaging two trades a day. And so far, three of them winners, three of them losers. But we are down $59.70. Closing balance currently $5,617.69. So what do we need for this to get turned around? Now I can see two ways out. One is that the trading stop loss subtrade in one of these trades really starts to put in some work. Able to not only negate the losses, but go even further than that. Get us into a serious trend. Like we said, we have tried to give it room in terms of retracements with that wider stop loss on the ATR. So we would like to see one of our trades run tomorrow. Alternatively, get more winning trades than losing trades. As I said on the charts, if we got two winning trades tomorrow at zero losers, there's a pretty good chance we'll get back into profitability, that one of them will have a trading stop loss that's enough to get us back in the green. However, if we do get two losing trades, it will be damning for the strategy. And at that point can be seen as a nail in the coffin for it. Whatever's gonna happen, we'll find it out tomorrow.